I'm Stefan from IT Support, and in this short film, I will show you the installation of the new VPN client in the Linux system. I have a fresh installed OpenSUSE 12.2, but the installation will not differ in any other Linux distribution, so it uh, will be look alike in uh, Ubuntu or Fedora. Uh, we start with a web browser. I use Firefox here because it's already installed, but uh, any other browser will do. We browse to the URL https colon double slash vpn asa dot yakob slash university dot de. And in the login window here, we log in with uh, your CampusNet username and CampusNet password. This is now the web front end of the new VPN server. In the old VPN system, we had uh, also the functionality of uh, web VPN, and this is uh, here in the web applications. If you click there, uh, we have prepared uh, an ISCIT link collection and uh, the library homepage, but uh, he will, uh, other links will show up here. In this URL area here, you can enter any URL you want to browse. Uh, using the security of the VPN server, so just enter www.google.de or whatever you like. Uh, when you click here on uh, Browse Networks, you can browse your Jacobs file server directory, uh, what's mimicked as uh, J drive. So when you click here, you can find the files there. But what I want to show you is the installation of the AnyConnect uh, VPN client. Click here on the AnyConnect link. And to start the installation, uh, click on Start AnyConnect. As there is no automatic installation for Linux, uh, you have to download the installer by clicking on the Linux link here. And it will uh, ask you or offer you to download uh, the setup file. We want to save it, not, not uh, open it directly, but we have to save it. And. Uh, it's a small file, it's already downloaded. And uh, I click with the right mouse button here to open the containing folder just to get know where it is, but it uh, downloaded it in my downloads folder. Now we need a uh, installation shell. Uh, just uh, open the terminal and uh, go to the directory where the file is. It's in the uh, not, not documents and some downloads. Uh, there it is. And uh, you may have guessed that we need to become root to install it because the software is installed system-wide. So I do it with su and the super user password I have here. And uh, then I'll call the installation script with sh vpn setup.sh. The installation is uh, really fast. It's already done. We can now close the uh, command shell here and uh, also close the uh, browser windows here we have opened. Uh, I will log out from the web VPN session here and close the browser window just to free up the uh, display here. Uh, now where you find the VPN client. I click here on my Start button and uh, browse the uh, menu here. So I click on Applications and on Internet. And there is the Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client. And once opened, uh, there is the front end. It now asks me to uh, connect, or it asks for the VPN server. And I have to type it again here VPN asa.jacobs. University.de. And when you click on the uh, extend button here, uh, nothing else uh, happens, but the gears will uh, open there. There you can uh, enter your CampusNet username and password. Once you type that, click on connect. 
now the uh, VPN session is established. In the notification area in the lower right corner of your display, you see a new icon with a closed lock. When you click on that icon, you see a page uh, with uh, some uh, statistic information on your connection, the IP address, how many data you have uh, transferred, and how long you've been connected. Uh, and when you click on the first uh, tab here, the connection tab, uh, there is the possibility to disconnect. We want to do that right now. Uh, I will close that window just to show you the uh, VPN client is now completely closed. And when we start it, I click again on my start button here on applications, internet, and the Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility client. And you see it has remembered the uh, connection we have just made. And when we click on connect, uh, you will be asked again for your compass and password. And we can connect, and then uh, the connection is established. Again, click on the small icon in the connection tab to disconnect, and you're unconnected again. You see, it's fairly easy, much easier than the old VPN client. And I hope you enjoyed the film, and uh, remember, have fun. Bye for now.